I said, yo, what up, YouTube? My name is Rap. This is I Rap on Point. Welcome back to another reaction video. But if you're new to the channel, how you doing? We are here at Generation Hope's channel to check out some craziness. I've never been at this person's channel before, and what I'm seeing is Pastor sleeps with 18 year old nun. What happens next is shocking. Look, this is something way crazy, alright? I've never reacted to any of this person's uh, content. And all I see is nothing but crazy shit. But check this out. When I go to this person's uh, channel and I look at their banner, it says fam family friendly, making the world a better place one story at a time. New videos Monday. Look, man. I don't know what to expect, but we about to find out. And if you dig it and you with it, let me know. Because we about to get into this video. So let's go. You are pastor. Good heavens, what are you doing, Dad? You're sleeping with a nun? She could be my sister. What? You're not even supposed to be here. I knew you were cheating on Mom. That was your letter, wasn't it? No. Damn. It's not what it looks like. You're a liar and a hypocrite. How could you do this to your family? To your wife? Son, I can explain this. No, no. I'm gonna go tell Mom. They will ruin me. They'll kick me out of the church. Wait, what? Out the church? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and ask your blessings on this wonderful meal that my wonderful wife Sarah has worked so hard to put together. And dear Lord, we thank you and ask that you also continue to be the guiding light pointing us down the path of righteousness. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. You a slime ball. Let's eat. Nathaniel, tell me about school today. It's good. I got a new English teacher, Mr. Walton. Mr. Walton? Is he new in town? Does he have a family? No, he's divorced. Some mm. kids said they heard him talking on the phone to his ex-wife, said it sounded like he cheated or something, and that's why they broke up. Oh, that's so awful. I can't yep. believe people do that. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah, I guess people grow apart or something. Grow apart? Grow apart? That behavior is immoral. Anybody that cheats will burn in hell. You mark my words. Okay. Harsh. Don't you think people deserve a second chance? Maybe it was a moment of weakness. No! That is a weak, immoral, dishonest man. And that's an example of everything that is wrong in the world today. He couldn't keep his family together because he couldn't control his sinful urges. Yikes. But doesn't the Bible say to forgive others and not judge on their mistakes? It does. That's actually a great question. Let's consult the Bible. We have it right here. Let's see what it says. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 32 but the man who commits adultery is an utter fool for he destroys himself and if we look at Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4 it says give honor to marriage and remain faithful to one another in marriage okay God will surely judge people who are immoral and those who commit adultery amen well it sounds like you're judging him too hard Ooh. Boy, are you questioning God? Ooh. I'm sure he didn't mean anything wrong. I, he just concerned about his teacher. Right, honey? But, but that's what the Bible says. In Matthew 7, 1, do not judge or you too will be judged. We can't be so quick to judge on one mistake. You don't speak that to oh. my own house. Do you understand me? The he teacher's a dirty, filthy sinner. And he's going to burn in hell. Now, a man of God does not cheat with a common Jezebel and break up his family. If you question me, you're questioning God Almighty himself. And I will not tolerate that in this home. Do you understand me? Stop! Yes, sir, Stop. yes, sir. I said, do you understand me? Yes. Oh, about to kill Guess his what? son. Yes, sir. <coughs> this <was> crazy. <coughs> now, back to the <laughs> That fool just goes and sits down. He's like, now, nah, look, this motherfucker crazy, bro. <gasps> This was crazy. Come in. Nathaniel. Hey, Dad. Hey, I am so glad you're here. I'm having a problem. I'm working on my sermon, and I cannot get it to save. I think there may be something wrong with these files. Would you uh -oh. mind looking at this while I'm gone? Yeah, sure. I can save it to a flash drive uh -oh. or something. That would be perfect. Thank you so much. Where are you going? I have to go pick up Sister Mary Helen. She's just around the corner. We have a planning meeting for our charity event. OK, cool. Thank you so much. This shit about to get dirty, cuz. What's up? Look, he about to find something in them files. In that flash drive. He's gonna find something. What is this? My 
dearest pastor. The time we spent together the last few weeks has been so special to me. Ooh. Shame, shame, shame. I love you with all my heart. Oh, yikes. I look forward to our next meeting. Next meeting? This isn't my mom's handwriting. Oh Why would she call your... Oh my god, oh my god bro. <laughs> Hold up. Your mom would really call him pastor? Like, she wouldn't call him babe or... By his name? This would trip it. Mom. Mom. Nathaniel. <sighs> Honey. Is everything okay? Mom, I... I don't know how I'm going to tell you this. It's going to sound crazy. Damn. You, you might want to take a seat or something. Just tell me. Just sit down, mama. I think... I think dad might be... Praise Ooh. be unto the Lord. Nathaniel and Sarah, you're both here. I'm so glad. This is Sister Mary Helen. She is a nun from St. Joseph's, just down the street from our church. We've decided to collaborate on this month's charity event. We thought it'd be good for the community to see that despite our differences, our common love of the Lord is what joins us all together. Amen? Okay, yeah, sure. Hello, Mrs. Benson. It's so lovely to meet you. God be with you. It's lovely to meet you too, Mary Helen. So, Mary Helen, try to meet my dad. Well, we met at the Helping Hands convention. He was doing a speech on fidelity. What is Alpine? What was he doing? He Hold on. Fidelity and marriage. And What's I he doing? So is he really doing? Him. Hold up. Hold and up. My dude, are you tripping, homie? You is something wrong with you. He really went like this. Like, what, what was he doing? He was doing a speech what is on fidelity and marriage, and I felt so drawn to approach him. And you ought to get beat up, bro. Helping others, so we thought we would work together on this charity event. That's so lovely, Mary Helen. I can see the Holy Spirit radiating from you. Yes, it's very true. I've been working with the sister for several weeks now. Uh -huh. She's been very hands on with everything. Oh, that's what you mean? Thing. Where'd you get it? Oh, well, Pastor Benson actually gave it to me as a gift. He said it was a union of our churches. Yes, that's a true story. The Lord spoke to me. He wanted me to reward the sister for all the hard work that she has been putting in. Sucio. Speaking of hard work, don't you think we should get started with today's planning session? Oh, I'll be yes. dirty. Well, you two have a fun and blessed day. I'm going to the store to get some groceries for the soup kitchen. Wait, I have something to show you. I see you found grandmother's letter. Grandma wrote this? Of course she did. What did you think this was? My dearest pastor, the time we spent together these past few weeks has been so special to me. I love you with all my heart, and I look forward to our next meeting. Well, of course, I'm a pastor. I met with my mother. It's very simple. What did you think this was? Did you, wait a minute. Did you think I have a lover on the side or something? Yeah, you do, I'm cuz. I'm God. You should be ashamed of yourself. Run along and help your mother now. Yes, sir. It's because why'd you present that there, homie? You should have, like, once your dad went away, then you presented me. I thought they would never leave. I'm so glad we're finally alone. I've been thinking about you all day today. What? Heaven is just a sin away. Amen. Mom, I swear, there's something off about Mary Helen. Oh, and stop that it. Stop it. Wait. I'm tired of you talking about dad. <laughs> Everything is fine. Stop it. Okay, that's enough. And uh, that was crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh, I forgot the car keys. Okay. Uh oh. Get them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Run, bro. Catch them. Can't you smell the sex in the air? Oh, Pastor, take me to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me who's your savior. You are Pastor. Tell me again. <laughs> you are. Pastor. What? Evans, what are you doing, Dad? Hold up! Hold up! Homie sleep. Are they dry humping? Who has sex with clothes on? Come on, dog. Come on. Y'all gotta sell this shit. Evans, what are you doing, Dad? You're sleeping with the nun? She could be my sister. No, Nathaniel, you're not even supposed to be here. I knew you were cheating on Mom. That was your letter, wasn't it? No, it's not what it looks like. 
you're a liar and a hypocrite. Exactly. How could you do this to your family, to your wife? Son, I can explain this. No, explain. no. I'm gonna go tell mom. They will ruin me. They'll kick me out of the church. Is they that should. all you care about? Your job? What about your family? <laughs> I don't know what came over me. I was confused. It was the hand of Satan. Okay, I don't want to be nasty or be like one of those, but I'm trying to predict something, all right? That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to predict. It'll be it'll be crazy and weird if the dad went, hey, so, you know, you know. <laughs> I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Stop and touch me. I can't believe you preach so much against being an immoral and unfaithful man when you're being one yourself. Exactly. You're just like Judas. What did you say? You're oh. just like Judas. You're immoral and you're a hypocrite. You don't speak to me that way. I'm gonna go tell mom. You can try. But? She'll never believe you. And in the end, I'll ship you away to work in the ministry in Africa. What? Get off of me. Oh. Uh oh. Whoa! What is going on here? I caught Nathaniel coming on to Sister Mary. It's true. He, he was coming on to me. Damn. What would have happened? That's not true. Dad is having an affair with Mary Helen. I don't know where he's getting these crazy ideas Look at his from. Look That's not possible, son. Your father is a man of God. But I saw them kissing each other. Is that true, Mary Helen? Of course not, Mrs. Benson. Y your son is lying. We were just planning the charity. Just planning. I'm so disappointed in you. Go to the car right now. You're uh, Mom, uh, go! This shit booty, cuz. Man. I'm sorry. This was this was Look at his shirt. Head. I'll take care of him. Nathaniel knows his father is having an affair with Mary Helen, but yeah. he can't prove it. So he decides to take matters into his own hands. Find a flash drive. He sneaks back into his dad's office and sets a camera so that he can record his dad and Mary Helen together, Damn. catching them in the act. Okay. Heavenly Father, we ask that you grant my wife and I strength as we deal with the terrible lies that Satan has been <laughs> making my son tell. You in put that in a pray. prayer, dog. Amen. Amen. Speaking of lies, I have something to show you. What's this? I recorded you and Mary Helen. Mom, I have real proof that he is cheating on you. Nathaniel, not this nonsense again. That's enough. Stop it. Mom, please listen to me. No, I will not listen to your lies again. I'm disappointed in you. But mom! Nathaniel! Enough! Just show him! Your mother and I have been discussing sending you away to oh Africa my to work God, with I'm gonna slap this guy, bro. Your behavior is sinful. Mom, please, just have faith in me and just watch the video. Sarah, please don't listen to him. Just mom, press play. Have faith in me, Mom. Please. Okay. Press play! Please, show me the video. Show me the video. Show her the video! Ooh! You were cheating on me. The cheating. This is not what it looks like. I can't believe it. He was saying the truth. Exactly. You're having an affair. Uh huh. I don't know what came over me. I was possessed by evil, seduced by a witch. It's happening. I can't control this. Oh my. Oh, stop it. You're being dramatic. Oh, that's what you get. You make get. me sick. You ruined this family. This got After out. all these years of loving you. The Bible says right here, forgive and forget. Can't you do that? I can hear anything else. Live now. I said now. Acting kind of sucks, but it's there. <laughs> Show ass out of here, fool. <laughs> Having sex with your clothes on. What? Are you okay? I just, I can't believe he would do this. I know. I'm so sorry. No, I'm so sorry. I, I, I can't believe I didn't believe you. Would you ever forgive me? Of course, Mom. I love you. <laughs> Ooh, this is awkward. Uh, Sister Mary wants me to get the Bible back. Is that going to be a problem? Get this out. guy! 
this guy. This the entire weird. Christian community found out what Pastor Benson had done. This got him fired, and he was never able to work at another church again. All right, good. Thank you. Good. All right, y'all, I'm going to end the video here. I want to know what y'all think about this, man. Should I react to more of a uh, Generation Hope? This was a... Uh, this was different all right i like that the video is lengthy you know more for us to watch what old man kidnaps nine-year-old girl i don't know man they have a lot of interesting content this is the first video that i checked out and uh yeah let me know what's up in the comments also if you're new to the channel man subscribe i do a lot of weird funny shit i play a lot of dvd and uh you won't be just <coughs> I think I swallowed a bug, but you won't be disappointed. I'm here to entertain, love it or leave. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out in the next one, all right? Catch y'all later, all right? Stay safe, stay blessed, always rap on point. Wash your hands, wash your ass, peace and unity. Till next time, adios. Ain't like that, boy. Yeah, yeah, it's more than that, homie. It's a lot more than that.